Now we're going to do the full Nelson. What happens here? You can hurt a person by pressing on his spine. It's very dangerous. Hold. In order that your head and spinal axis don't bend, you should position your hands together on the forehead. My task here is to move my elbows together. Then I should sit down along my spinal axis. I try to press on him and move my shoulders up to my ears along my neck. In this case, I take his arms away. Some people will try to break this construction, and you shouldn't do this. Otherwise, the distribution of forces will be incorrect. They should be squeezed from the inside of you. So by positioning my hands here, I stop him influencing at this point. I press on him with my torso and move up. Now, by taking his fingers, for example, I can get him down sideways. The end is the same as we did in the suffocating hold. Again, I position my hands this way and get down. Or I can hurt his elbow joint here. I can injure his heels or hurt him with my knee. So you can use all these moments. If you don't have any questions considering this element, you can start training it. Be careful, it's a very traumatic element. Don't press on the neck too hard. I've just told you that you shouldn't apply force here. You don't do wrestling every day. Your necks are ordinary. I mean, of an ordinary person who doesn't do physical training every day. And you try to apply the maximum force here. Of course, you won't manage to do this. I've already told you this. Your task is to create a form here and apply some force. Nobody will do it correctly. Plus, there are some cunning and experienced people. It's always easier to press on a person, I mean to hold, than to escape it. Even a child can press on you in this case. You should move your shoulders up, and you don't do this. You just try to break the construction, and nobody does this. In order that your head resists the hold, you should keep it. To reduce this leverage, you should move your shoulders up and your head down. Okay. Then what else should you do? You should squeeze him out by moving one of your shoulders up and the other one down. You should take his arms away, but don't break the construction. Like this. Because many of you do this. Don't apply the force here. Try to feel it. To escape a hold, I'm moving this way. Now I can take his hands here or here. I can also hurt him here at this point, or this one. I can unbalance him with the help of my hips or while rolling. The main thing is to escape his arms, but don't do this. You can hold your arms tightly, in this case, because many of you just try to slide down. When you try to do this variation, but it shouldn't be a panic here. He's holding me, and I'm getting down. He's moving this way, and I can pull his leg. Here to sit him down. And here I can hold him down. I say this because I saw the guys in that corner press too much, and they guys also. Just don't press too much. Please, do this element once again. Look, as soon as a person has escaped the hold, there is a couple of forces which you can use here. Do this. Just escape and work with your elbow joints here. Move one of your arms up and the second one down. That's it. One is up and the second one is down. These are the same elements that you've already seen and done. I mean that you already know them. Position it better here. Move down and work with your shoulders. This way? Yes. Use your shoulders. 
You should fix your head here and work with your torso.